So guys, what did you think of The Little Mermaid? Let's have a look at what we picked up in Primark. And I ran into her room, like preparing to catch vomit, and it turns out she wasn't being sick, she was having a seizure. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog, a half term vlog. This is not the kind of vlog I thought I was gonna be filming this week. I thought I was gonna be picking up the camera yesterday on Saturday going, hey, we're off to go and see the Little Mermaid like the action in the cinema, which was the plan. That's not what happened. This half term so far has been a little traumatic. Let me explain. So today's Sunday, yesterday, Saturday morning about 4 a.m., Zara woke up and she had a fever. Now luckily, I have this that I keep in my bedroom. So if any of the children get up ill in the night, then I've got everything I need to kind of take care of them just in one place without having to think. So I always keep a selection of the syringes I've collected from over the years, clean ones from the Calpol and the Neurofen bottles. In here, I've got a bottle of Neurofen, bottle of Calpol, thermometer, and medication charts. These are printables. You can download these if you join my um, email club. They're free from my Ultimate Mum bundle. Anyway, so I had all the stuff I needed. She had a raging temperature. I gave her Calpol, which is kind of the two. I alternate between Neurofen and Calpol when they are ill, because one's ibuprofen, one's paracetamol-based. And I would give one, and then if they still need it, another two hours later, I would give the other one. So anyway, four in the morning, she was she was really hot and unwell, but then she said, Mommy, I just want to go to sleep. I said, right, fine, I'll take you in your bed and I'll go and check on you in a bit. Then, I guess around five, I heard a noise. It sounded like she was retching, so I thought she was being sick. And I ran into her room, like preparing to catch vomit, and it turns out she wasn't being sick. She was having a seizure. Now, this is not the first time any of my children have, have done this. The first time any of my children had a seizure, it was William. It was the day before I went in to be induced with... Bella. So if you want to hear the full story of that, they will be when I've discussed Bella's birth story. Normally on their birthdays, I think, in their birthday vlogs, I discuss their birth story. But Bella's birth story is the story of, of William's federal convulsions. He had them a few times. He's had his first one when he was nearly three. And it's a fever that when in young children, sometimes if they have a fever, their brain sort of shuts their body down and they end up having a seizure. So their eyes roll back in the head. They shake all over. It's very, very scary. But I just thought, right, I am very scared, it's that. But also her lips were blue and she wasn't breathing. So I picked her up and I kind of went, Zara, Zara. And after what, what felt like three and a half hours, but I think it was only a few seconds, she took a big gasp and was breathing. She was still seizing, eyes rolling back in her head. So I shouted to my husband, call 999. He was on the phone for a really long time. We weren't getting any sense. So in the meantime, I did actually call a family member who is a paramedic and he actually got to us really quite quickly. I think it was about 35 minutes, the actual paramedics showed up. she just sort of about come round a little bit. Her temperature was really high, it wasn't coming down. She'd also thrown up all over me, which was mostly snot, bizarrely. It looked like she'd just blown her nose about a hundred times all over me as opposed to being sick, so I don't know if that's relevant. Anyway, the paramedics decided she definitely needed to be seen in um, paediatric A&E, but it was best if I drove her there so that we had the, the flexibility to come away. When we needed to so i gathered all the things together the other children were really upset because obviously we had this whole day planned and then suddenly we've got a house full we ended up with this family members of paramedic plus four more paramedics in the house and that's what they woke up to it was it was scary for them they were worried about zara it's very upsetting so i took her off we went to pediatric a e where initially they kind of said probably this Federal convulsion from young children. She is a little old for them. She's like six is the upper limit of what they'd expect to see. So as a precaution, they were going to refer her on like in the future to first seizure clinic, just sort of to rule things out. And they decided that it was probably an ear infection. She needed antibiotics and to go home. And then this doctor came back and said, look, actually, I think we need to send her up to the pediatric assessment unit just to be safe. So I carried her through the hospital. Um, really missing the pram actually. First time we've had one of these incidents and I haven't had a pram. So I had a heavy bag on my back full of all the things. I wasn't sure how long I was gonna be in the hospital for. Carrying her on my front and got to pediatric assessment unit. And eventually when we saw two doctors actually, they said that, first of all, they didn't think it was, any, it was something that needed antibiotics. They didn't think it was near infection or they didn't think it was bacterial anyway. They thought it was viral so she wouldn't need antibiotics. And they agreed that the fever would have been related to why she had a seizure. But what they said was that 
for, a feb for it to be considered a febrile convulsion in the sense of what William had, it needs to be a child under the age of five because apparently under the age of five, that's a pretty typical reaction for a child to have for it to be like, this is all too much. Brain says, right, shut it down and you end up having a seizure. It's sort of to protect the body, to protect the brain in some sort of bizarre way from what's going on. Now in a child over the age of five, it can't be called a febrile convulsion. So they are looking at whether it might in fact be epilepsy related, still triggered by the fever, but she is going to be referred on to this first seizure clinic, which I know initially the guy in A&E said, but the way he said it was very much like, it's probably not, they probably will like maybe write to you, you maybe you'll never hear from them, but he just kind of wanted to like double check. Whereas the pediatric A&E doctors were very much like, no, this is something important to look into. So that was a bit of a shock. Um, my biggest concern then obviously is Zara at the moment. I kind of feel like the whole, is it epilepsy, is it not, whatever is a problem for future me. When that referral comes through, that's a few weeks down the line. My concern yesterday primarily was, was how she was doing, just keeping the fevers down, no more seizures. So she slept a lot yesterday. She slept loads in the hospital. She was violently sick again on the when we arrived at the hospital and again in the car. She was just really struggling to keep anything down. For about half an hour I thought she was perking up and then her temperatures were just wild, they were like a 41, which has just been really scary. So I've had the most horrific night of non-sleep. She slept in bed with me and my husband went in her room. I'm just checking on her, checking on her and then finally this morning, touch wood, she's been fever free for a good few hours. So I'm really hoping that she's on the mend. I just want her to be better now and if it is epilepsy or whatever then We'll deal with that, but I just want right now for her to have fought this off. I just want her to be better. It's half term, so like she was going to be home with me anyway, and I guess I wouldn't feel the pressure to perhaps send her back to school before she wasn't ready. There won't be that decision of, does she go back today, does she not? Which I guess is a blessing. Didn't have any plans. I know, I know I'd done Denard about booking Disneyland Paris for like our last trip because our annual passes hadn't run out yet. Luckily, I ended up not doing that. So we had very like close to home, meet up with friends, do this, do that, plans anyway. So it's just going to be a chilled one. But stay tuned because I'm, I'm hoping as the week goes on, she'll feel better. We can do some nice things for the sake of all the children. I just want it to be better. So how are you feeling now, Zaza? A bit better? Oh, yeah. Let's check your temperature. Oh, good. We're looking, we're in the green. That's good progress, isn't it? She has been fever free for, there you go, 37 too. Been fever free for a few hours now. We keep everything crossed that that's gonna keep up. Now what I have been doing, I've said I've only got that, um, that written temperature chart, which I use all the time. But um, this time what I've been doing is putting her temperatures in my phone in a note which I have shared with my husband so if you use iPhones and just the native Apple notes you can choose to share a note with and invite someone to collaborate on it and that way any amendments you both make to the notes it will be on there that's quite handy if you don't want to lug around actual pieces of paper especially when you're in places like seeing doctors um, or in the hospital and they're asking, what time was this? What time did she have cowpaw? So luckily I had it all written down in here. So now it is 12 noon, isn't it? And what was your temperature? Because we're right, we're keeping a little record of this to see how long you were temperature free. What did we say it was? 37.2, that's brilliant. You don't only have squash in these, do you? No. Because technically the bike bottle top, according to dentists, is not great to have anything sugary going past your teeth. It kind of be better off having squash through a normal cup or through a straw, but needs must at the moment while you're ill. So this is my own kind of version of Diorolite, um, which I looked up on Google. Basically, um, I've put a little tiny bit of the peach Robinson squash in because it tastes nice. Some previously boiled water that's been cooled in the fridge, but also some level teaspoons of, I think I put four level teaspoons of sugar and a half a teaspoon of salt in that and giving it a good old shake. And the idea is it's replacing <coughs> electrolytes <coughs> oh darling the same way Diora Light would because she's been so violently sick so how are you feeling okay how, let's sometimes if you don't know how you're feeling how's Bunny feeling yes she's feeling a bit better than she was Bunny's feeling a bit better than she was we're just having lots and lots and lots of cuddles we've already watched 
Little Mermaid. There's one on um, Disney Plus. Um, that's like a yeah. Well, what's the one I watched yesterday? It's like a show. Oh yeah. That was quite good, wasn't it? It was like a little bit of people doing Little Mermaid on the stage and a little bit of the cartoon. You've watched number two, where Ariel has a daughter. Uh yeah, no Melody. No Melody. And um, then we I've watched the one. Number three. I think it's number three. Which is a prequel, isn't it? Which is Ariel when she was a little girl. So yeah. what do you want to watch now? The the um. The normal little mermaid. The normal little mermaid. mermaid. That's a really good idea. Should we go and snuggle and do that? Yeah. And then hopefully when you're well enough, we can go and see the live action one in the cinema, will not we? Yeah. Okay. Keep sipping this, okay? Keep sipping it. Because it's, it's putting all the, the, the bits back in your body. The, um, I put this together. <laughs> I put this together when, um, I spoke to the ward last night. I was so worried about her. Her temperature was going up to 41. I spoke to the ward and they suggested that I put this together. Um, to give her, um, if I didn't have Diorolite in the house, which I didn't. Incidentally, that probably tastes better than Diorolite. I can remember having Diorolite, cherry Diorolite, when I had gastroenteritis, when I was probably about your age, actually. And I still want to eat cherry flavoured things for that reason. <laughs> Baby. Just thrilled that your temperature's come down, to be honest. Hello. It is now... Gosh, what day is it? I don't even know what day it is. I feel all over the place. Monday? Bank holiday Monday. Zara's doing much better. Much better than she was, which which is great news. We did not have an amazing night. We had a better night than the night before. Pretty low bar. Granted, that was a pretty low bar. Um, she went to bed not having had a fever most of the day, then didn't spike a fever till about two in the morning. She was, she was in with me again just because I was really paranoid. Um, and my husband was sleeping in her bed. Um, which incidentally is the bed that I used to sleep in when she was tiny. I used to just go in with the little ones when they were little rather than bring them in with me so that he could sleep because he was getting up work and stuff. So I know that it is a bearable bed because I used to sleep in it myself. What was I even saying? My head feels like fog. Um, so she's, she did spike a fever in the night. It wasn't as bad and the medicine seemed to be working a lot better. She's a lot perkier this morning which is fantastic. Um, my eldest showed up yesterday as well, which is really nice. It's really cheap, chill trap. Um, but I'd forgotten how much noisier it is with four of them here than just three. It's really noisy with just three. With four, they just, they're all so excited and all wind each other up. It just sounds like we're in a zoo. Oh, and now one of them's crying. <laughs> my husband's supposed to be in charge. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna go and see what's going on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, yeah crisis averted so my husband is just watching them all for a minute and just refereeing I guess for me to get some work done hopefully um because obviously it's half term um so I can't do my normal like working hours and things but also my head's all over the place I don't know what the next few days are going to look like I'm really hoping that, that Zara's on the mend and if she can be I feel like fever free for 24 hours is kind of like goal to aim for if she can be fever free for 24 hours I feel like we're out of the woods I know that was what they said they wanted from me when I was in hospital sepsis I couldn't go home till I was fever free for 24 hours so I feel like that's a pretty good standard to to look for and feel like if she is then fever free she's coughing now a lot more than she was but I feel like a cough is a kind of lingering thing that just stays around even if you're not feeling ill with it if that makes sense so I'm now going to set up my computer um edit some stuff luckily I filmed quite a lot I just need I've got quite a lot of editing to do that needs to go out I can't even remember when do you know what I'm so tired how am I gonna get anything done I feel so brain dead it's been a lot to process I feel like I am my brain is a computer with far too many windows open and it's not responding I'm trying to ask it to do too much and I'm just getting that little dialy wheel meaning nothing's happening but on the bright side if we're gonna Pollyanna this I'm glad she's on the mend. I'm glad the sun is out. I'm glad we have a nice home that I have been grounded in for the last few days. Um, I'm glad that we're at home, it's not hospital. Okay, let's get some work done and hopefully perhaps spend, if Sarah's well enough, a little bit of time in the garden later, just relaxing. Fingers crossed. My auntie and uncle have just popped over. It was his birthday a couple of days ago, just before um, all the chaos started here. And as it happens, Sarah's doing so much better, so it's really pleased to see them. So, I've got a cake, a Little Mermaid themed cake. 
the children just going to sing at him. Um, and for his birthday, he's had a t-shirt to wear on the cruise because they are coming on the Disney cruise with us in August, which will be very exciting. In fact, you, you guys may have met them, seen them before if um, you watched the Christmas Disneyland Paris series because they came along on that trip with us. Anyway, time to sing. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Tuesday and she's finally not 100% there but really on the mend thank goodness I can't tell you how grateful I am it's been wild it's been not fun she had her last fever so far touch wood at 4 p.m yesterday and now the children are all including my big child out in the garden having some lunch Zara just seems like she's got her energy back today which is great I'm having to tell her to calm down and you know not jump on chairs so she might hurt herself which I wasn't having to do when she was ill she's normally so bouncy we call her sonic like she sort of does parkour off the furniture and I'm like darling calm down you can hurt yourself she's not been doing that and it's kind of lovely to see her doing that again I think I just have to feel grateful and lucky that yes it happened but we've received excellent care. We were very lucky to go straight through in A&E. I can't remember the last time that we had to use A&E and that happened. So grateful that we received excellent care. Grateful for all the lovely comments and things from people on Instagram. Grateful for my auntie coming over yesterday. Lovely to see her. And more than anything, grateful that all the children are looking to be healthy again. <laughs> It's like, I know it's like a bit of a cliche, but it sort of puts things into perspective when you've got a bit of a health issue, you just want nothing but your family to be healthy and everything else can kind of fall into place, can't it? You can deal with anything else if you've got your health and your children have got their health. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to deal with this you know, referral to check things out, but that's just due diligence. Just keep telling myself that's just making sure that everything's okay and the right thing to do. Maybe it'll come to nothing, fingers crossed. For now, I'm just glad that she's regulating her temperature, which means whatever virus infection it is, is going and leaving my poor baby alone. I um, just got the children to bed. So I just got back from the local shop and I must admit, I'm looking a bit disheveled. I'm about to go in the shower and sort out all this, but um, the state of my hair is pretty much how I feel at the moment, which is disheveled. <laughs> I, um, I hadn't spoken to my best friend for a couple of days because just schedule crossover and things only by text. I hadn't actually like chatted to her. Um, and I just went to the local shop, which is the first time I've been out actually the last few days of being kind of grounded. Looking after that. Um, but my husband said, I need some bits from the shop. I could go, but do you want to go to get out of the house? So I did. And I talked to her while I was in the car about everything that's happened over the last few days. And I said I had to go because I was going to the shop. And honestly, I was walking up and down the aisles. I thought, I'm going to cry. Like, what is wrong with me? I just think perhaps the last few days have been more stressful than I realised. And I'm going to have to make an active decision to put everything in place to make sure that she's okay, obviously. But I'm going to have to make a really active choice to not let the worry of this consume me because I think that would be quite easy to do. I am delighted to say that Miss Zara is... Better, better, aren't you? So yes. much better. So where are we going to go today now? Because you're feeling better. To see the little mermaid. To see the little mermaid. So the girls are wearing the Shalalala Kissed Girl dresses. So we've been very excited to go and watch this. The live action remake of the 90s classic. What are we expecting from the film, guys? I don't know. I'm not sure. I've listened to some of the songs and um, her voice is really pretty. Her voice does mm. sound beautiful. I know they've changed some of the lyrics to bring them a little more up to date. So it'll be interesting to see what they are, how the casting choices have been. 
Have you heard yeah. anything about it or any thoughts? Uh, yeah, I've heard a couple of things. I'm just interesting to see. I'm just interested to see how well it's going to do on like the leaderboard of live action movies. Or yes. Like. Is it going to be top of the charts or is it going to be a? Like, is it going to take downer? over like um, Encanto or is it? Like, yeah. Well, that's not a I live wonder. action remake. I think what William yeah. means is like Beauty and the Beast live action. I actually really Cinderella? liked, yeah, Cinderella. Cinderella didn't really have songs in it, did it? Yeah. No. My favourite live action so far has got to be the Aladdin one. Oh, I thought they yeah. did a really good job I on that. that yeah. The others, I don't know, you're a Beauty and the Beast fan. What are your yeah. thoughts on the live um, action? Oh, I really like it. Wait, what live action now? The bi live action Beauty and the Beast. I really like that one. Did you? It too. Okay. I think the Lion King was the best one. Do you? Okay, well, my favourite was Aladdin. Mm. We will see how this ranks compared to all of those others. What did you think of The Little Mermaid? It was amazing. I really, really good. I think they did quite well with it. Like, they must, I think they're starting to get like better with the live action movies. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. They had some quite distinct tweaks. Um, skip ahead if you don't want spoilers. But specifically talking about her siren voice was like a yeah. reference to, you know, mermaids and, and things. Also, which they didn't mention in the original. Also, you know um, when they when they have the well the, when they have when they nearly kiss, yeah. um, Ursula and uh, Eric. Yeah. They, they they weren't on a boat. They were just in the palace. That's true. There was supposed to be a wed there was a wedding, wasn't there at the end? Yeah. But it was just at the palace. Um, well, on a boat. Exactly. And uh, I got to say, I was nervous about the changes, you know, The Little Mermaid is a film that I very much grew up with, it came out when I was little, it's very much part of my childhood, I was like, they're changing the lyrics, but I actually felt that modernising the lyrics that they chose to actually worked really, really well, um, you know, for informed consent and things, without spoiling anything. Yes, darling, what did you think? Um, I've got a question. A question, okay. Do you know Ariel? Ariel, yes. Do you know, actually I mean, I mean, um, Eric. King Triton, yes. You know what, um, at the end? Yes. When, um, um, the guy, the people that, um, the ones that are in the, the ones which portrayed Ursula. Which oh, Ursula yeah. Ursula. So at the, end of the, at the end of the cartoon one, all the little, like, slug people came back into mermaids, didn't they? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the live action one. Yeah. Um, and you know when... The, um, the ones it, it, they help Ursula. Flaxen and Jetson, yes. Yeah. They got zapped. No, no, they got um, King Triton. That oh, part, yes. That part's a bit different. Did he, is he, is, is, how did he come back? Um, magic of the, tri of the trident or something? Unclear on that bit, if I'm honest. But overall, I, you know, I had very high hopes for it, but I was very pleased. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. They, they did, they cut out the, the chef song and they cut out the, the sisters song at the beginning and they also renamed all the sisters, but I still loved it. Still loved it. Yeah. So, get some thumbs up from us, yes? Yeah. So we have popped into Primark oh, that's um, nice. because that's the nice children thing. need sun hats for school and for some reason all the sun hats <laughs> seem to disappear in our house. So, they have found these rather nice looking Encanto ones. Well, I think we might have to look in the men's department for a hat for you. Yeah. Like a cap or something to wear to school, to turn off your head. Yeah. You're supposed to take hats to school. Um, so, what do you want to try? Bells? On? Yeah. That, that one's quite one. good and it's reversible, is it? I think oh, I like That is very nice. Oh, <laughs> Farah. Like well, you are on the yellow hair. team for Sports Day. Well, you could have it anyway. Could have a yellow team hat, can you? So, what do we think of the Encanto one? I like this. What I do think you think? It's nice. It is nice, isn't it? It's a bucket hat. 
Well, what's that? I want this one. Well, that's just, I oh, that's that. a two pack of hats. I, I love that. Oh, well. <laughs> Sorry, it's the, it's the well, how about one. the lilac one for you at the bottoms, us? So that's a two pack of hats. That's quite pretty. I love that pink hat. I like the pink hat. That's a four to I seven, so that's a bit little for Bella. How about this one, which is a frozen hat, but it's lilac. You love lilac, Zara. That's your favourite. Is that any good? Well done being patient, Will. We will find your hat in a second. <laughs> We found some hats Will might be interested in. Any good, Will? Any good? Hmm, it's quite fit. What do you think? Do you I want like one like it. that or do you want like in the men's apartment for a plain one? Which one do you want, baby? Um, I'm not sure. Well, hold on to that. We'll have a look in the men's apartment for a plain one. If not, would that be okay? Yeah. I mean, you do like Marvel. Mama. Yes, it is quite nice. We have picked up some more bits, but the store is closing, so we've just been running around like idiots picking up things and Right when I'm in the bag, so we'll just have to show you we've what we found when we get back. Hats, hats we've because got like they need hats for school. Seven, but then I don't think we've got that many hats. They need hats for school, um, but we need to allow for losing hats because that's what will happen. I've also got a little section in the drawer under the stairs, a hat section, which was looking rather um, sparse. I have a feeling now that we've bought a selection of hats, we're gonna find more hats. Back home now, and I'm about to show you what I bought in Primark, but first. A couple more thoughts on the Little Mermaid live action. So again, skip ahead a few minutes to the next little chapter if you don't want any spoilers. I loved Ariel, I thought she was fabulous. I really like that they fleshed out Eric a bit more. Like, if you think about the original animated classic, he's like, doesn't know who King Triton is and all the others are like, oh, all good sailors know about King Triton. Eric seemed to know what he was doing a bit more. He was a bit more clued up, a bit less clueless then. They just, did a really good job of it. I liked it the same way I liked the Aladdin live action. And I know the children said that they liked a lot of the other Disney live actions. I probably didn't as much, but I loved the way they did Aladdin and I, I did genuinely love The Little Mermaid. I will look forward to it coming out on Disney Plus and will not mind that being on in the background with the children watching it. That'll be quite sweet. They, like I said, they did ditch two of the songs and there were two, maybe three new original songs, which were, you know, which were fine. There was a, also a new reprise to Part of Your World, which was beautiful. I think a couple of like little bits they chucked in that were interesting was the comment King tried to made about Ariel shouldn't have to lose her voice in order to be heard. So that like rounded off nicely. There was mention of Ursula being King Triton's sister. How does that even work? But apparently that was in this version. She was Ariel's auntie. And then there was also mention of Ariel's mother and the fact that she'd been killed. And that's why 15 years ago they weren't allowed to go to the surface anymore. So there was like reference to her. There's no reference to Ariel's mum in the first one as far as I could remember in the 90s animated version. And there was something else I needed to share with you as well. I can't remember what it was. Let's have a look at what we picked up in Primark. So hat wise, they chose one each as their main live in the school bag kind of hat. And then I picked up just a few extras to have in the drawer as spares if they go missing or just to wear in the garden. So William chose this Marvel hat. This was five pounds. Bella chose this pale pink cap. This was actually in the women's section, it was £2.50. And then Zara wanted this frozen cap. This was five pounds in the children's section. And then just as kind of spares, we've got this three pounds navy cap, which would do for William, the uniforms blue and navy, as a spare. And then this dark pink, or as Bella calls it, bunny pink, same colours are very precious, bunny pink cap. This was 250. And this nice bucket hat, which was 350. I so can't pull off hats, I look ridiculous in them. And I also got this um, as like an impulse purchase by the till because if you saw a recent Primark come shop with me in Hall where I picked up that beautiful Bridgerton nighty type thing. Uh, well, I ended up taking back the nighty, but I kept the dressing gown and I love it. I wear it all the time. It just makes me feel super summery and glamorous and fabulous. I thought this kind of went with it a bit. I mean, it doesn't match exactly, but you know, like painting my hair up for the shower, it just, I don't know, it just, it's so pretty. Oh, and I've got to show you something else that arrived today. Um, I ordered a whole load more of my organised life planners um, because I realised I didn't have like some in stock to give to people in my actual real life that needed them. So if you haven't seen it before, um, I will link a video that goes through all of this. Um, but this is this is called Perfect Bound. It's just like a normal book, and this is the coil bound. If you're the kind of person that likes to like be able to flip it over and leave it open, then the coil bound. But to be honest, I really like the Perfect Bound version. It's just, I think it's really nice. It just looks like, I don't know. It just, it makes me happy the way it looks. 
And the other thing that arrived today, um, if you follow me over my Disney channel, we are going on a Disney cruise this summer, August 2023. We went on the Disney Magic in August 2021, so it'll be two years on and it'll be on the Disney Dream. I had so many people enjoying the Magical Parks planners that I've had lots of people asking for a cruise version. So by the time you see this video, I'm hoping that this is live on my shop. Um, I haven't put these live yet because I wanted to check them. I have found a couple of little tweaks that I need to do. So I guess I will go through all of those and get those live. But like I said, by the time you see this, all, all the, the organized life, the parks and the magical cruise planners should all be available to purchase, not in digital, but in actual printed format too. So to summarize, got the caps the children wanted, Little Mermaid was fabulous, and above all, Zara's okay. It has been a really tra traumatic few days. Um, it's felt very up and down. And I've just got to make a conscious effort now to just be really positive and put things in place to make sure she's okay. So follow up all the appointments, make sure she gets any tests she needs or whatever, and try not to lose my mind with worry. Because it's been a very worrying time. But the main thing is, she really does seem like herself again, which is all I can ask for, really. So thank you for joining me for this rather random vlog that was not at all what I expected it to be, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell and do all those YouTube things. There are more videos on the screen now for you to choose from. Click on one of those and I'll see you over there.